have more to say on this actually um, and that is that when you put the motor back in you want there to be a little bit of play on that on that coupling and there must be a little gap between the two halves so essentially it just takes the front part not even deep in just the front part of a standing knife blade like that so what you do is you place that inside before you finally tighten the screws so that even if it forces the motor back slightly which is likely to do and when you tighten the two gearbox screws that that gap will be maintained So when you tighten those two there all the time in fact you can do it up to this point where you've tightened one of those gearbox screws thoroughly fully in fully tightened then you can take the blade out so you don't damage your fingers and you see that there is a gap now between the two halves and now you tighten the final screw okay then one more word um, on the refitting of the prop so it's a stainless steel domed washer domed side towards the high loop washer put that washer on then another stainless steel the dome side again towards the high loop washer that makes sure thrust bearing so that's nice and slippery there now when you put the prop on put, there's two ways you put it on sometimes it happens that the thread may be damaged on your shaft slightly or simply doesn't spin as easy as that if you find that you can't simply spin the prop on like that you can put your finger inside the boat find the fan on the front end of the motor stop it with your one finger and that will stop the shaft or stop the whole motor then you can spin this up now importantly when you take this you take it to the end to the end of the thread but you bring it back undo it and you bring it back a fraction and you make sure that you've got a hair of play just a little under a half a millimeter of play on these thrust washers and when you find that position, like so, grab it, now you put your nut on, there we go, now you put your nut on. And when you tighten it, there's only one way you can tighten this properly. You don't put lock tight, you don't put an eye lock nut, you simply use a plain nut, but you lock it against the prop. So you bring that all the way up, and you tweak it twice, then you check again for play. If it's tightened up against the washers, then you simply loosen it and you turn it back a bit, turn it back a quarter turn and you try lock it again. But importantly, there must be play on the washers in front. There mustn't be, there mustn't be binding. In other words, the motor mustn't have to work to turn the prop just in the housing. It must work to turn the prop in the water to give you thrust. Otherwise, you waste battery and you create heat. Um, that will create a lot of heat on the shaft and although um, this this end is in the water convection is very slow in stainless steel so it may cool yeah but it will not cool the whole shot quickly enough for it not to burn the bushes so that's very important to ream the bushes if they are if you find that your shaft doesn't slide through easily the seal is obviously contained in this half um, so you ream the shaft if need be and you'll make certain that you have some play on these washers there mustn't be a lot of play if you have too much play here then the prop can push through and will close the coupling so in essence, what you're doing is by taking, taking up the play uh, on, the, on the prop to the point where you've just got a hair of play, you're still maintaining the gap on the coupling. If you, if you unturn it and you've got a huge amount of play, then that coupling is actually slapping like that and it can also slip out. So that's quite an important setting. Do it one more time. Prop loose to the point where it's fully tight. Bring it back a hair. Tighten it twice. Give it two tweaks. Like that make sure that you've got play on the washers when you're happy that you've got play here of lateral movement i haven't got too much movement there i loosen it bring it back ahead all right now i'll tighten it seriously be careful not to cut yourself on the on the on the prop maybe put something between your thumb a piece of rubber something between your thumb and the blade but i'm quite used to this so hold it really really tightly put your ring spanner flat on the on the nut and seriously tighten it with all your might and that's what you have to do. It's permanently locked and it will not come off. No need for lock tight or nylock nuts. The reason why we don't put a nylock nut or lock tight is that when the time comes, if your boat's all closed, battery set, and you for any reason want to remove the prop, perhaps some line got caught up, 
and you want to remove it, you now have to strip everything out in order to get your hand inside to stop the motor. Whereas if the, clean, if the shaft is clean, uh, you can simply loosen the nut, spin it off, spin the prop off, take off the debris, put the prop back on, and it's 